Hey, hey, what's up? Today I'm going to give a tutorial um, on the burning flag video that I posted. So if you're interested in the file, I'm actually going to put a link in the description that you can click on. It'll take you right into Easel and you can make a copy of it. Alright, so let's follow along, take a look. So number one, I have um, Easel open, Easel Pro. I have my size set to 22 inches wide, 11 and a quarter in length, and 7, uh, 0.75 inches in thickness. All right, just gives me an area to work on. I'm gonna shift these stars over just a little bit. All right, so super simple. Um, I was brainstorming fireman flags, and I'm like, oh, why not just do fire on the flag? So, I'm going to show you how I did it. So I went into um, Google, I did a search on flames, and I found an SVG file uh, through Etsy. I literally just right-clicked it, told it to save the image. So I'm going to save that image. I'm going to go back to my flag. I'm going to click this little door to import. And I'm going to tell it I want to trace an image. Click upload file. And I'm going to drag the file in I just saved. Let it do its calculation. And there are the flames. And I'm just going to turn the threshold up a little bit and I'm going to hit import. Now the flames have appeared on the flag. So I don't want them to be all the way at the bottom, but I'm going to enlarge them. I want the flame to be on the edge of each stripe here. it down just a little bit a little bit smaller all right I'm happy with that so what I'm going to do now is um, click shape so look at the center of the object so I know I'm 22 inches wide and we're almost at the center let's make that 11 at least I know that object is centered to the flag. All right, click out of there. Uh, actually, hold on a second. I'm just going to re highlight that. I'm going to hold shift and click these two stripes. And this way, just the flames are highlighted. I'm going to click on cut. I always carve my stripes and stuff on flags to 0 0.06 in depth. This way, need that set now. Alright, so that's set. It's still highlighted. What I want to do now is I want to click on this little Lego piece that says Apps. I click on that. I'm going to go down the Offsetter tool. I'm going to leave it at a distance of a quarter inch. And I'm going to uncheck Keep Original. Click Import. I want to leave it the original size so it's the same size as what I just was working on. And I'm going to zoom out. I want to drag that over. It's still highlighted. So now I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to click the outer edge. So now all this junk that's in there that it traced is no longer going to be used when I hit delete here. Oof. Well, let's go ahead over here. Click shape. 11 inches. Alright, see what we're doing here. Now I'm going to bring it down. Let's bring it down like this. Alright, so now it's around that object. 
inches. Now I still have that highlighted. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to cut and change it to clear out pocket. I'm going to set the depth to zero inches. Now I'm going to right click it, tell it to send it to the back. All right. Now I'm going to get rid of the last two stripes. We're not going to need them. I'm going to click this stripe, right click it, tell that to go to the back. So now what you have is a stripe in the back, then the outline just on top of that, and then the flames on top of that. All right, because it is a smaller flag, <clears throat> and I want to capture this stuff here for the stripe, which again is going to get painted red. Um, I'm going to leave, leave it on a 1 8 bit. But I'm also going to do a detail bit at a 60 degree. And if we go look at our rendered version, get a detailed preview here. This is what your flag will look like. Alright, um, my advice would be paint your board black first, then carve it. Then all you have to do is paint your center stripe, do some burning if you want. Um, when you save a copy, you can change your speeds all you want based off your machine. Um, for me, Doing a hundred feed rate, fifty plunge, 0 0.06. Actually, I'm gonna turn that down to seventy, just because I'm using a one eighth bit. Thirty five plunge, and for the detail bit, I'm gonna run that at a hundred feed rate, fifty plunge, 0 0.03 per pass. So it'll run two passes to clean everything up. And that's it. Super simple. And then obviously you go to machine, export your G-code. When you've got dual bits in there and you generate the G-code, it'll give you a roughing file and it'll give you a detailed file. So you can tell them apart. Right there. So you go ahead and export those. All right, but I'm going to share this file and put the link into the description of the video. All right, I hope this was helpful. I hope you enjoy the free file. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment, hit that like button, please. And y'all have a great day.